Welcome to Cars Mation. In 2024, Audi will rebrand the Q8 e-tron and Q8 e-tron Sportback SUVs as simply the Q8 e-tron, respectively to better distinguish them from the rest of the company's growing lineup of electric vehicles. Audi has updated the appearance of their SUVs for the occasion by installing a new grille, new headlights, and new wheels. Audi has increased the battery capacity of both Q8 e-tron models to 106.0 kWh so that they may better compete with other vehicles in their market segment. The SQ8 e-tron, a high-performance upgrade to the S e-tron, was released just last year, and we have a full evaluation of it as well. Here is the price of Audi Q8 e-tron dependent to the model. Premium model is around $75,600. Sportback Premium model is around $79,000. Premium Plus model is around $80,000. Sportback Premium Plus model is around $83,400. Prestige model is around $86,000. And Sportback Prestige is around $89,4000. We'll let you pick between the coupe and convertible variants of the Q8 but we recommend the premium trim level because it has the most standard features and the pricing that's on par with similarly equipped luxury EV SUVs. While the Q8 e-tron's electric systems are the most impressive, the crossover state-of-the-art and functional cabin is no slouch, either. Two flush-mounted touchscreens display Audi's digital gauge cluster, called Virtual Cockpit. The Q8 e-tron's underfloor battery pack allows for a completely flat floor, and the opulent cabin can be further personalized with options like a head-up display and massaging front seats. Cargo space in a standard Q8 e-tron increases to 57 cubic feet when the second row seats are folded flat, from just 29 cubic feet behind the second row. Due to its reduced cargo space and steeper roofline, the Sportback could only accommodate six pieces of luggage behind the rear seats, while the standard e-tron could accommodate seven. The Q8 e-tron's highly creased body hides two electric motors, one in the front and one in the back. In combination, they provide electrical all-wheel drive, with the rear motor handling the bulk of the work. There is a total output of 355 horsepower and 414 pounds to foot of torque under normal driving circumstances. However, if you switch to sport mode, you'll experience a momentary increase in power, 402, and torque, 490%. Our test drives in the Q8 e-tron were remarkable for their swift acceleration and peaceful interior. Rapid acceleration is par for the course for electric vehicles, and the smooth, Silent Ride confirmed my suspicion that this was a premium make and model. Its braking system integrated standard friction brakes and necessary regenerative brakes without a hitch. A major letdown was that the Regan wasn't powerful enough to enable one-pedal driving. Traditional SUV characteristics are still included in the Q8 e-tron, such as a towing capacity of up to 4,000 pounds. While official EPA ratings for the 2024 Q8 e-tron SUV have not yet been released, we believe that they will be close to the 78 city-79 high-range figures for the 2023 model year. When time permits, we want to put the Q8 e-tron through our comprehensive battery of tests, which will include a spin down a highway fuel economy route at 75 miles per hour. For more information, you can view the e-tron's gas mileage ratings on the EPA's website. Both Audi Q8 e-tron body styles come equipped with advanced driver assistance features as standard equipment. For further details on how the Q8 e-tron SUV and Q8 e-tron Sportback performed in crash tests, you can look at the results on the websites of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Thanks for watching.